John Boy. It's a special time to give a special group of applause today. Freedom Train showing love for the month of May. The black women everywhere, no matter position or age. We know the truth because of you that we could dare to be great. Showing love to the warriors, queens, mothers, and sisters. Black women keep achieving as needed in this picture. A humankind, never mind how society fits. You stand tall here high because we need you. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lessons from the Screen. The Freedom Train continues its celebration of black women. So we're going to continue our celebration of black women like we have been and like we will continue to do through the month of May, illustrating and showcasing the profiles of the women that we have been spotlighting thus far to show that all women are capable and, and, and deserving of being spotlighted no matter how big or small their accomplishments are. We need to get into the spirit of uplifting our black women every single chance we get and encouraging them to go after their dreams and go after their goals and become the women that they want to become, no matter how old or young, no matter how big or small their dreams may be. So in the spirit of that, you know the deal. Lessons of the Screen is brought to you by Paxing through the Freedom Train Network. You can find us at www.freedomtrainradio.com or on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, or basically anywhere that you can get your podcast. Be sure to head to all places and give us a review. And be sure to head back to the freedomtrainradio.com and let us know what you think there as well. And then be sure to head to www.pactsinc.org. That's paxinc.org. Paxinc.org. To show some love and support for our sponsors, they are a black activist and advocacy organization focused on developing the black community through a shift in culture, education, and economics. And as always, lessons from the screen as a frame of reference and perspective that is aligned with that of the black community. So the things that we look at will be looked at with the racial component involved and with some lessons that can be used to improve the community. Now, like I said earlier, this episode of Lessons from the Screen, we're going to continue what we've been doing the last two episodes, which which is showcasing the women that we are spotlighting on the Freedom Train Network during the Black Women's Celebration Month of May. Now, we're going to do things a little bit different this week versus last week. Uh, I'm going to read the, the names and the dates like I have been doing, and then I'm just going to give a brief summary of, of the women's profiles, and we're going to move on because... I don't want to be redundant, and I feel like I'm being redundant in the commentary. We already stated overall what the goal of this thing is. And all of these women should know up front that if we can do anything to help you, we're down for that. Reach out to us and that we love you. So with that being said, we're going to move on forward. So on May 18th, we chose to put our spotlight on miss angel olefin i hope that i'm saying that right and forgive me if i'm not now she's a young entrepreneur brand ambassador and public speaker and has been a young trailblazer in the Tallahassee community so for the past few years angel has used her event planning and marketing skills to plan grand openings for small businesses coordinate nightlife events for college students host toy drives during christmas for underprivileged children food drives to feed the homeless, and facilitate various networking events at Hotel Duval, Nefertari's, the Southern Fam U, the Window Garden Hotel, the Walker Ford Community Center, the Mint Lounge, and several other local venues. Now, Angel is constantly seeking different avenues to give back to the community. She has volunteered at women's shelters, mentored students, and marched in various protests throughout Tallahassee. She's been busy. <laughs> So, and, and amidst all that, she has also found time to help several people launch and build successful brands. Now, she hosted her first networking event on March 2015 called Women Hustle Harder. And this event brought out several student female entrepreneurs and allowed them to vend and network with other, other local female bosses. The success of this event is what motivated Angel to start working alongside women in the business field. Years later, on December of 2017, she launched a platform called Boss Women Tally, a local female professionals upcoming and aspiring for, excuse me, for local female professionals and upcoming and aspiring entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs. 
Her mission was to provide women with networking opportunities, exchange knowledge and resources, build confidence, and receive support in their business and their personal endeavors. Since launching, they have done this more and more. Angel aspires to expand her career in motivational speaking and teaching women how to build and run a business. At just 23 years old, Angel continues to be an inspirational powerhouse and overall staple in the young professional entrepreneurial community of Tallahassee. So go to the website definitely and check her out. There's a link to her website there. I'm sorry, her uh, Facebook page there and she's she's definitely doing some big things so angel definitely we appreciate all that you do and we celebrate you keep doing your thing so on may 19th we put our spotlight on miss christy kennedy now miss kennedy mrs kennedy is the owner of queen confidence queen fidence i like that queen fidence Queen Finance Image Consulting and is a certified impact coach and licensed image enhancement consultant. She empowers female influencers through insightful and inspiring leadership development training. As a global transformational speaker, Christy is skilled in four areas of peak performance, mindset mastery, massive momentum, magnetic mes messaging, and potential maximization. I just say that over. Hold on. Christy is skilled in four areas of peak performance, mindset mastery, massive momentum, magnetic messaging, and potential maximization. Do it big then. Christy has a passion for igniting leaders who have reached a plateau with limitless possibilities. Her creative teaching style will equip you with confidence and clarity keys to break down your complex vision into daily action steps in her words small adjustments lead to big attainments that's true one minuscule act can create massive impact the that's true part was my words not her words elegant speech executive shine and effortless style do it big then go to the website and check out queen Fidence dot com you can get that through a link on the freedom train black women celebration page dedicated to mrs christy kennedy or you could just go to www.queenfidence.com do it big so on may 20th we put our spotlight on dr brianna s journey Brianna S. Journey. I hope I'm saying that right. It's spelled Journey, but it don't. It got the Y. It don't got the Y on the end. It's got two E's. J O R J O U R N E E. Uh, but uh, oh wait, there's an accent over the E, and we gonna call her Brianna. Her mama named Brianna. We gonna call her Brianna. Anyways. She is a graduate of Florida A&M University, where she received her Doctor of Pharmacy and her Master of Business Administration. She was the first student to complete FAMU's PharmD MBA dual degree curriculum that was introduced in 2010. Originally from Cleveland, Ohio, Dr. Journey, 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 whatever, is currently residing in Tallahassee, Florida, where she is completing her second year as an HIV research fellow with Florida A&M University and the Leon County Health Department. In this role, she serves as the AIDS Drug Assistant Program Pharmacist, ADAP, where she is responsible for dispensing and maintaining inventory of ADAP medication for Leon County, as well as provide medication therapy management services to patients. She also lectures students in the College of Pharmacy on topics concerning HIV and opportunistic infections. Additionally, Brianna is a credentialed pharmacist under the American Academy of HIV Medicine. Ultimately, she would like to work for a pharmaceutical company where she can assist in bringing life-changing medications to those who need them and help improve quality, improve quality of life to those around her. Brianna actively participates in community outreach events 
and serves as an advocate and educator for HIV prevention. In her spare time, she enjoys long walks on the beach, candlelit dinner. Oh, I'm joking. In her spare time, she enjoys traveling the world and is immersing herself in different cultures. So she's doing it big. You know, we told you uh, in one of the other shows about. Wait, I said I wasn't going to do no commentary. Can't help it sometimes, though. But do it big then, homie. Definitely shouts out to you.